Recently, the Washington Post announced the winners in its annual squirrel photo contest. The top prize goes to an OU student from Tulsa. Ralph Bernhardt was the overall winner, and he's in the program this morning to share more. Thank you for being here, and congratulations. Thank you so much for having me, Leanne. I'm very happy to be here. How did this all come about? How did you find out about the contest, and how did you get started taking pictures of squirrels? So I've known about Washington Post Squirrel Week contest for years, especially once I started my squirrel account. People just started sending that to me all the time. And I've actually entered before, but I, I've never won. So I was really surprised this year to go from not placing at all to landing the first place. And how were you notified? Uh, so I was actually sitting in my math class when I, I got a text from John Kelly at the Washington Post saying, hi, Ralph, I'd like to talk to you about your squirrel photo. So that was very exciting. And then when I talked to him later that day, I learned that I was getting the top prize. I think there were a little bit over 30 awards given out, but uh, I was lucky enough to get the first place. So let's take a look at the winning photo as well as some of your other photos. Let's, this is what I'm showing right now is the one that won. Tell us about this photo. So what I love about that photo is that even though I have some expensive equipment, I actually took that with my old cell phone um, and I was able to get very close. And because of that wide lens, you get a really interesting background showing the squirrel's tree and the branches reaching out behind it. And that might be my favorite squirrel photo of all time. So I'm very happy that it won. And very proud of it. We're going to show a few other photos as well. As we mentioned, OU does have a lot of squirrels on campus and you began to shoot. What, what was the and you have an Instagram account for your photos as well. Uh, what prompted you to, to begin this kind of quest? So once I got to OU, I was just enamored with the squirrels and how friendly they were. And I started taking a lot of photos of them. And I thought it would be a crime to let my photo collection amass in secrecy. And I, I ended up making an Instagram account to post some of my photos. And over time, they've gotten more and more professional, I think. And I'm really happy with how it's helped me evolve as a wildlife photographer. So what did you win for your uh, being recognized in this? Well, I got $100, but I was more happy to have my photo published by the Washington Post. So they printed it in their newspaper, they put it up on their website, and they posted it on their Instagram page with over 6 million followers, That's which was really nice. Fantastic. Now, for those who are interested in following you on Instagram, tell us your handle. My page is squirrels underscore of underscore OU, squirrels of OU. It's a great page. As you are photographing, are you recognizing the same squirrels in some of the photos? Or are these all different? Oh, yes. Think? Oh, no, I, I know many different squirrels around campus. So the squirrel in that winning photo is actually named Nutty, and she was introduced to me by my very good friend, Daniel, who has kind of almost domesticated her. I can tell. Um, so I, yeah, I know many different squirrels around campus. That's funny. Tell us about your major. What are you studying? I'm studying creative media production, which is kind of a video production major, but my passion is mostly in photography. Um, and especially nature and wildlife photography. But I think that the skills for video largely correspond to photography in terms of lighting and composition. They really work together. Well, Ralph, you definitely have a, a nice item for your resume to be able to say that you've been published in the Washington Post. Congratulations. Thanks for sharing your morning with us. Thank you so much, Leanne. All right, 9.24 is our time, isn't that funny? A new study shows Americans aren't afraid to bend the truth, the most common things people admit to lying about. Also, a man riding his bike through Oklahoma, he's still got a ways to go.